Hey, hey, Spring Lafay, Simply Tarot. Okay, we're going to do a read for um, all of the zodiac signs. And um, I'm going to start this time with um, air signs. I'm going to actually start with Aquarius. <clears throat> Let's see which cards I want to use. Okay. Okay, I think I'm going to. I'm going to use these. Okay, now what I'll do is, in between each sign, I'm going to stop it because I'm going to um, shuffle cards. So, yeah. Uh, first off, I think what I want to do for you, Aquarius, is I want to take your romance angel. Why not? You know, uh, some of you don't want romance. That's fine. Uh, but for those of you that do, we'll take you one of these. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And then the bottom, we have reconciliation for some of you. Um, and I do feel like, you know, that you'll feel if these cards are for you or not. Um, someone is returning to, um, returning from your past. So someone from your past is returning to your life. And then we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Now, I will be honest. I feel like this could be for, this doesn't have to be about romance. It really has got that feel to it. Okay. But for those of you that want one of these, I'm going to take you one of them. Okay. Four Aquarius. And I'm just going to get right to it here. We've got um, Ten of Action. And what that says is you're working too hard. The angels are asking you to find a healthy balance between your career and your personal life. Be willing to ask for help from others in order to lighten your load so that you can take better care of yourself. Straining to make others happy can be harmful to your health. We've got the snake. And what that says is um, compilation, uh, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. So, you've got someone that um, may be coming towards you or may be looking towards you. They may be angry over something. Maybe they're jealous of you. Maybe they're intimidated by you. If you have a lot of confidence, that can cause that. We have this one. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Okay, let's get you one of these. Life Lessons. And that is Peridot. And what it says is... Um, you can break free from reoccurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing they contain. So pray to know the lessons and the blessing that the patterns contain <clears throat> going forward. Okay. Okay, you've sown some sort of seed and you need to be wary. You need to be, I feel like you need to be cautious. Um, I feel like you've got lots and lots and lots of choices and you need to be wary. You need to be cautious. You've sown some seeds and you need to nurture the right ones. And I feel like that that's where your, your intuition is going to have to kick in. I feel like you're going to be nudged. There's going to be little nudges along the way to let you know, hey, you know, that that's, yeah, you sowed that seed, but, but are you sure that's the seed you want to nurture? Um, because it feels like you've got so many choices, so many um, different outlets, different, um, yeah, right there it is, look. you got so many choices, you've got so many uh, different options, and you need to be aware of that. You need to, um, because this having to do with patterns, you know, 
learn the lessons. Tell me about, um, okay. So you got someone, I feel like that, um, okay, let me get a little more on this person. Knight of Cups reversed. This is someone that I feel like they're going to tell you something and it's going to not be um, totally accurate. It's almost like um, this is someone that they're going to be overly emotional about something. They're trying to, pre it's, it's almost like trying to press you into something, pressure you into something. Uh, someone that um, wants to cause a commotion within other people's lives. Uh, so they like drama. They feed off of drama. And um, tell me more about this person. Okay, they maybe have a player energy about them with the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups reversed. Someone who may be overly um, emotional that puts a bit of drama in the mix there. Um, this is someone that aims to take something from you. They aim to take something, uh, you know, um, this card, the Seven of Swords, can uh, it can be about deceit, it can be about lies, it can be about illusions, and um, I feel like that whoever this is, they aim to take something. Now, what is it? could be your time. It could be your uh, energy. It could be uh, many things. It could be more. It could be something that is uh, of value as far as... Um, materialistic. Uh, it could also be you. It could also be um, a player thinking they're going to get somewhere with you. Um, you know, treating you as if you're not a, a lady or a gentleman. That type of energy. So you need to make sure that you are very much into your intuition and that you see this for what this is. Who's this? Okay, this is someone else. Okay, this here feels like you got someone coming in that you've sown a seed with. You need to, you really need to be in your intuition. Now, this is someone totally different. I will be honest with you, this has got that feel of that, um, the other woman card. It's the Queen of Cups and it is reversed. This is someone that's very emotional. Worse than the King of or the Knight of Cups reversed, it feels like. This is someone that, um, oh, it's all about them. It's got to be all about them. It, you know, um, it can't be about anyone else. You know, it, it's, it's like um, someone that, um, oh my goodness, they'll whine. Oh, you can't do me that. Oh, you're going to hurt me. Oh, poor pitiful me. It's that type of energy. Okay, they've got their sights set on you for some reason. How come? What's going on with this Queen of Cups reversed? Okay. They may be um, <laughs> the other person or such. You know, you may be, um, someone may be talking to you that, you know, someone else wants them. Or someone else, um, maybe they are... Um, maybe there's a choice between two. With the lover's card, there can be. Um, but what I'm getting is that, okay, okay, someone may be from the past and someone may be now. They got it out for you. They're emotional. They're real, um, I just got the word hell bent. Oh my goodness. Scorn. And it's like you don't even know it. Um, this is someone that they're hanging on for dear life to something. It could be someone. Um, it could also be um, uh, money. They could be involved with someone or could be uh, separated or such from someone. And, you know, uh, it's like that person may have um, their eyes on you. And, you know, this person's not wanting to let go or such. Tell me more. Hmm. Oh, wow. See, that for me is they've gone further than that. Yep, 
Yeah, this person feels like they've been, um, it's worse than scorn. You see, here's the thing. Um, I feel like that th you're showing up as this nurturing, loving person, and this person can't stand it. It's like they, they can't stand it. Um, you know, it's a feeling like um, instead of, they've gone through, they've gone further. They feel, their feelings is, oof. I mean, seriously, their feelings are very, um, I don't even know how to put it. I don't even know, because the feelings are not, not good at all. Um, and it's like they're, you see, this is about a message. This could be about a message, you know, or something uh, tangible coming to you or someone wanting to give you something. This, for me, is like this person is, it's almost like they're, they're enthralled of something. And it could be, um, it feels like um, material, material, something materialistic. Oh, mercy. Um, this person, you know, <laughs> that it's, it's like they're hell-bent on hanging on to whatever it is. So, I don't know what someone, you know, whether you've got yourself into something or someone has got you in something or something. But, they're, yeah, they're not, they're not letting up. It's like they're, they're not put, not, not letting their guard down about you. See, and that that's like they're they're watching you. It's like they're see they're showing it. Um, instead of it being, if I throw it out, if I let it drop, it probably would be like that one. But you see, it's the same cards. It's just this one's not reversed here. Um, this person, oh, they've got it out. Uh, they may even contact you. They may even want to um, it be like they want to offer something to you. Um, maybe they want to tell you something. You know, you. this could be an ex of someone you're seeing. And they want to speak something about that person. It very well could be. You could get contacted by an ex of um, someone that you're speaking with or talking with or seeing or such. And um, this person's in a hurry. It's like they're in a hurry. It's like something's got them in a hurry. Um, can I see... Um, May I see the other per may I see the person that's interested in okay the person that's interested in you is someone uh, we got the hair on out and that's number five someone that's changing their life it's like they're very much into tradition and I don't know what it is but there's something that's got them um, really feeling like change. Um, this is someone that's a builder, um, you know, and they may actually build stuff. But um, when I say builder, what I'm getting is someone that, that builds relationships, someone that um, they like to build happiness between people as well. So that's a, that's a good feeling. Can I know any more about this person? This is someone that um, they've they've sacrificed a lot with sacrifice, and they are they are very generous with generosity. So someone that's very caring, someone that's very supportive, and it's like they're also a charmer. I go ahead, and, yeah, and I feel like that you know they may be messaging you or. Um, they're going to message you, you know, there's talking uh, that's going to be or is going on between you and this person. And this person, an ex or something, um, I'll be honest with you, it could even be a family member. This could be a, um, well, it says woman, so it could be um, a sister, could be a daughter, could be a um, aunt, grandmother, mother, 
or it could be an X. Just saying. Nevertheless, it stresses out this person. It causes them a lot of stress. Um, yeah. Because this person's got that that real, oh, it's poor pitiful them. You know, nothing can be their fault. You, you're hurting them. You're, you're doing this to them. You know, it's that type of, you know, can't take any, um, anything for themselves and really, you know, deal with it. It's like it's all, all about being done to them, that type of feeling. So that's what I've got on this. Yeah. I'm going to switch it out and we'll come back with Libra. Okay, Libra, your turn. First off, we're going to get your romance angel. Let's see what we get. And I have pretty much pre shuffled. Oops. Okay. You're being told to flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So, flirt. Have a little bit of fun. Put yourself out there a little bit. Okay, let's take one of these. Okay, you got boat. Receiving what you need. Progression, arriving, move on, closure issues. So, is there something that you need to um, be done with? Um, move away from? Or is there something that's arriving to you? You need to think about what you need. What is important to you going forward. Okay. Oh, I see it. Oh, I see it. It's not that one. What is that one? Just a moment. Okay, I'm sorry about that. We got this one. I saw it, just saw it, just saw a little bit of it, and I knew it was it. That's beautiful. Okay, I'm going to get you angel cards as well. This is actually a crystal oracle. Okay, we got that. Now, our angel message for you. Okay, right here. <clears throat> Okay, this beauty, it says, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Isn't that beautiful? And then we have three of abundance here. And what it says is your passions will lead your divine life purpose. Do what you love and have confidence in your talent. Learn everything there is to know about your interests by taking classes, getting a mentor, or teaming up with like-minded people. Allow your creativity to soar. Okay, Chir Chirot. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but it is a crystal. You don't have to have the crystals. The energy will be with you. Spiritual protection. You are being watched over and protected Physically, emotionally, and energetically. So, you're being protected. That's awesome. Okay, we want to start. I'm going to start with these. For Libra. Okay. Okay, starting something new. Okay, someone's got a lot of, um, I'm going to be honest with you, um, there's lust here. Um, it's like someone wants to um, start something new, 
Now, this could be you or this could be someone coming towards you. If this is someone coming towards you, um, they've got a lot of lust. This is lust driven. Um, and it, it's almost like um, the truth will come out. They're, you know, it's almost like they're in denial. Um, it's like they're not seeing this fully for what it is. Um, this person, uh, they may have feelings, but on the other hand, it feels like that they're uh, keeping themselves stuck. Yeah, there you go. They're keeping themselves stuck. Um, it's like stuck from, it's them doing it. And I'm drawn to the bottom of, of this one. See, they got, they need to heal. They need to heal what's going on with them. I mean, and they're not doing it. It's like they're just, they're just, they're just standing still. And until they heal what's going on with them, they're, they're keeping themselves stuck. Yep, there you go. Put it out any, any better, any clearer. Look. They're keeping themselves stuck. Now, here's the thing. Um, this is someone that you went around with at some point in time. Um, he, you're a lot about balance. You see what I mean? Um, yeah. You've sown a seed with this person. You're going to have to follow your intuition with this because um, this is someone that you dealt with. Now, okay, that's for some of you. For some of you, this is someone that um, is new to your path, and you're going to meet them while you're out about having fun, doing something out on the town, or even at a park or something, just out in public. Um, you may be drinking, though, so you could be out at a club or something. Uh, the thing is, is this person, oh my goodness, they're, they have such a lust for you. Um, the problem is... I feel like their heart is not, they, they, they're not opened up to giving love. It's like they, they, they keep themselves stuck from that. Um, now they want to start something new though. And when they meet you, if you don't know them, oh my goodness. Yeah. And I'm going to be honest, this could be a soulmate connection. Very well could be. Um, but the thing of it is, is a lot of soulmates teach us lessons. Um, and those of you that's dealt with this person already, you know, you kind of know what what's happening. Um, but, you know, they may tell you they want to heal things, make things right, but they're still stuck. They've not done the, the healing that needs to be done. And um, until they do that, you know, yeah, I don't see it really... Um, progressing you need to follow your intuition on this but this person you know they keep they're keeping they've got the wall up themselves it's like they keep themselves stuck it don't have anything to do with you keeping them stuck it's them And they're driven by lust, I'm telling you. Um, you know, I, I mean, passion too, but I'm not getting, you know, they're not giving anything from the heart. So it's lust. It's more lust than passion. That's what it feels like, just being honest. Hey, right, can we, can we, add, can I know any more about this person, uh, the person coming towards Libra? May I know any more? Okay. May I know any more about this person coming towards Libra? Passion. So they do have passion, but they are driven by lust at the same time. Any more? Any more? Thank you. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, um, if you are of childbearing age, I would protect myself. We've got the Empress that's fell out. Um, this person, they're very creative because this Empress is a little bit different. This is creativity. They're very creative in the way that they put themselves out there. We've got fulfillment here.
because it's it's almost like this person they put themselves out as being very fulfilled very um okay yeah see they stress but we got romance this is someone that they paint a picture for you to see um it's that type of feeling they're not even taking on the empress energy it's just showing us that this person's very creative in the way that they put themselves out there um so this does feel like for some of you this is the past coming back <laughs> um yeah so that is what i've got for you libra um next is gemini i'll come back okay gemini it is your turn let's take your romance angel i'm feeling just a cut you've got codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life so if you have an addiction, that's got to be dealt with. That's going to keep affecting your romantic life. Or if someone you're dealing with has got an addiction, it really needs to be dealt with. Um, because that will affect everything going forward in your relationship. Okay. Three. We got abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Beware of what you are projecting, for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Let's get you a crystal oracle. You got emerald, really beautiful. Now listen to this. Ceremonies and celebrations, it's time of important life passages, such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, or anniversaries. So, it looks like there's going to be some sort of celebration. Something may happen at the celebration, something very um, exciting or something that catches you off guard. I guess that's the best way to put it. Four of thought. That's what I feel anyhow. Uh, spend time in nature listening for guidance from your angels and your own inner voice. Because overanalyzing the situation won't provide the answers you're seeking. Consider taking a vacation or a small break to help you rejuvenate and make become clear on what your next step should be. Meditation can be very helpful. And yes, it can. Okay, for Gemini. Spirit. What do we need to know for Gemini? Okay. One, three. all about balance there's something that you need to bring a balance to there's something important that is in your life that you need to balance out right now and it may have to do with this codependency um, this is something that um, has to be dealt with okay here's the thing okay you know we had abundance up here you may be coming into some money but you're going to have to balance it you're going to have to balance how you handle this money. Because if you don't, now if you hold too tightly, you know, that it feels like that's not the right thing. But if you are too loose, that's not a good thing either. Um, it's like hanging on to what you have, but at the same time finding that perfect balance. New beginning. You, you are on your way to a new beginning. Um, a, this could be with someone that you're already with. Codependency will need to stop. Now, addictions, 
can be a range of, of anything. I mean, seriously, it could be overeating. It could be, uh, you know, overspending. Um, also, um, if someone is codependent on the other person, if someone doesn't help or they don't work or they don't bring in any uh, money or put any time towards, oh my goodness, helping, oh, excuse me, and someone, uh, well, you yeah, know, if someone's tired, <laughs> Um, you know, and the other one isn't, that's a big deal. That That's kind of codependent too, you know, constantly depending on that other person to do everything. Um, this looks good. If you're with someone already, you know, that will need to be dealt with uh, because, you know, you don't, if you come into this Ten of Pentacles, that can be some good money. Maybe someone's changing jobs or something. But at the same time, and you can have this Ace of Pentacles at the same time, you're going to have to watch how you spend this money. Someone may spend too much. And if they do, it can go just as fast as you handed your hand to grab it. Um, that's what I'm getting. Okay. Okay. Okay, if this is a um, romantic relationship that's already together, things can start moving fast. Okay, move really fast, but at the same time, you and your partner are going to have to watch how you handle things because it can come crashing down as fast as it goes up. You see what I'm saying? As fast as it, you climb that mountain, it can crash down if you don't watch how you spend that money. Now that's if you are with a person, a partner. Uh, now if uh, you have a partner coming towards you, tell me about that person coming towards Libra. Okay. This is someone that may move towards you. Okay, I need to get their intentions. Um, their intentions. Their, whoa. Drop a card went in. I didn't drop it, they kind of tossed it down there. Um, okay, this person may move towards you. Um, this is someone that would be leaving behind a lot, and um, you know, they want to offer something, they want to grow something with you. Um, now, and on the bottom, we've got the two of um, cups, so. Tell me. Okay. This can be a very healing um, energy that's coming towards you. Everything needs to be laid out on the table. You know, the truth needs to be known. On your part and their part. This could grow. This could go somewhere. Now, um, I need to know if this is... Um, family members okay Deci decisions need to be made correctly and I feel like between um, parties that are involved in the money making um, because if this is not just if it's not handled correctly and the truth in a truthful manner things can come tumbling down just as fast as they went up. So, yeah. That's what I'm getting. This is all about balance. How you balance money. How you balance what's coming to you. It's like someone someone's about to get something. Wish come true or something. Um, could be that someone, you know, has come into some money of some sort. Maybe they won some. Maybe someone left them something. Um, or maybe they got a wonderful job. But that has to be watched, that codependency card. Yeah. So that's what I've got. Um, next will be Aries. I'll bring you back. Okay, Aries, it's time for your read. Let's get your romance angel. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. 
So if you've had your heart closed up, it's time to open it up. Maybe um, do some meditations around that. It's safe for you to love. Camera. Reminiscing. Keepsake. Perception. Learn from the past. Make memories. I feel like that uh, someone may be taking pictures, though, too. Uh, someone may catch someone out in public taking their picture. Um, I feel like it will... Okay, for someone, this will be at a, something public. Um, could possibly be that they get um, videoed, you know, in, in public. But for someone, it's using a cell phone. And... Um, the person catches them. I feel like they, they're um, furious. There's a feeling of furious. Now, I can't tell you if it's a girl or a boy or a woman or a man or what. But I can feel that furious. And, um, yeah. But this is also about, you know, I feel like really with it being safe for you to love now, it's really learning from the past and um, thinking back and, you know, thinking about what you have learned and being ready to make new memories. <gasps> Heal what needs to be healed. One, two, three. We got this one. And what it says is, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light Creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. That's beautiful. See, that's letting go of, um, it feels like, energies that's no longer needed. Letting go of, you know, things that uh, you don't need in your life anymore. We got three of abundance. Seems like someone else got that one. Okay, your passions will lead to your divine life purpose. Do what you love and have confidence in your talent. Learn everything there is to know about your interests by taking classes, getting a mentor, or teaming up with like-minded people. Allow your creativity to soar. And then let's get one of these. We got citrine, and what that says is unnecessary worries release the burden of worries by giving them to God and healing and for healing and solutions. So give the worries to God for healing and solutions. See, this is about someone. It feels like um, looking at the past for a good reason, learn the lessons and, you know, get the healing that they need so so that they can open their heart up to allow love in, uh, to allow someone to have that chance. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, Aries, we'll see if they do it this way. They may want me to cut. For Aries, okay, it's a cut. Aries, you've been dealing with some drama. There's been some things been going on all around you. And it's not been very good. Um, you know, it's like you're sitting here. You know your worth and your value. You know you deserve better. Um, for some of you, I'm actually talking to, I feel like, for someone, I'm talking to a mother. And it's like... All this chaos and this drama that someone is causing in your life has really been hard. Um, this may have been going on for years. Now, I feel like for some of you, I feel like that you're taking on the Empress energy because it's a feeling like it's time to let go of what was. And it's, I feel like you're feeling it. I feel like you're, you're having this moment of growth from knowing you and from accepting you. And that's what it feels like is growth. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune's here. So things are changing for you. Things are looking up. Things are looking different. But it comes from that growth that you have allowed yourself to have. Um, and I feel like, it. you know, you've had to deal with a lot of, um, it feels like, uh, oh my goodness, it's so much drama. It feels like you have had to deal with. It's unreal. 
it's like you watch it. It's like you have to watch it, and it's very hard. Uh, now, whoever you're dealing with this with, there's a lot of love, though. Uh, but that's on your part. It's like you feel like whoever you're dealing with doesn't take love seriously. And they don't take it seriously. It's, it's like they don't balance their life. They don't uh, um, do what they need to do. And I feel like, you know, that's what you're trying to, to bring a balance to your life. And um, you're dealing with someone who is very foolish. I'm seeing the fool card. Yeah, see, they don't balance their life. And you're having to balance things out. And we got lover's card out. For some of you, this could be a lover um, a, a significant other. For others of you, I feel like this could be a child or a grandchild or someone that um, is in your family that you have had to take care of. It's like you've you've taken care of this person. Now, this could be a lover, uh, but the, at the same time, it feels like you have had to, to deal with a crap load of drama. Uh, them not taking things seriously and you taking it seriously, but your luck is changing. Um, I feel like you are moving past. You're moving past what has been keeping you. It's, it's almost like giving someone everything they want. Okay, tell me about Aries. Oh, no, tell me about this other person. Tell me about this other person that's filled with drama. Um, this is someone that um, they may have moved away. Someone that you care very much about. Okay. Okay. For some of you, this person um, moved away and they're staying with a male figure. Now, okay. They're pointing this out. For some of you, this is about a child. And you have a lot of love for this child. But they may have moved to be with a, um, <coughs> excuse me, a father figure or um, a family member of sorts does not have to be a male, but for some it is. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like that um, you've been manifesting. You're manifesting for things to get better, things to uh, be alright, uh, things to, um, you know, help them for, for the good. Um, I feel like you're coming in as this Queen of Cups, you know, over here as well, and I feel like you have a lot of love for, for this person, and um, this is hard. It's hard on you. But I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of this is um, karma. There's some karma here. You're getting karma for something. Okay, tell me about it. It's painful. It has hurt you. See, for some of you, this is your child. For others of you, this is a relationship, and... What is, what's happened is someone kept taking, taking, taking. And I feel like that um, they had to go. I mean, I'll be honest with you. Uh, for some of you, um, this is, um, you could have been, you know, involved with them. And they're coming in as the emperor over here. Um, and, you know, it's the perfect pair, but at the same time, it's like they're not helping. They just hurt. So, you know, for those of you that that's what's happened, uh, you could have been married to them, you could have been um, in a relationship with them, or it could have been a short-lived relationship um, because it's like you you got stuck, you know, the bad end of the deal. It's that type of feeling. Yeah. Okay. If this is... Um, well, show me for Aries in the future. Going for signals. Pay attention to the signals you receive from people. Understanding and the mover. So, in the future, you're you're going to be asked to be very understanding. Um, and it has to do something with moving. Someone moving. I feel like that's just you just sitting there looking. Wanting to know if this is an illusion. What's happening? What's happening? 
See, it's, it's a frustration. It's very frustrating. This has got a frustration feel. There's the fool. Trust. Should you trust this? The Hierophant. Tradition. Um, trying to help. Um, showing respect. For some of you, I'm telling you, for some of you, this is um, a family member of sorts. And they may have, you know, I'm seeing the devil card. I'm also, oh my goodness, I'm seeing that codependency card. Um, they may not take care of themselves. They may have uh, codependencies of sorts. So, wow. Um, it feels like that, okay, show me uh, a future look later. Courage. Okay, you need to have the courage to get yourself through this. Um, prayer, I feel like. Know your worth and your value. Don't allow anyone to take advantage of you. Um, it's going to call for you to work and um, have an adventurous side because I feel like whatever's coming from this person, you're going to have to really balance. Yeah. See, I feel like that this person, whoever this is that you're dealing with, it's like they're going to be, it's almost like they go in and out of your life. And here's the thing. Whoever this is, I don't know. I don't know if they've been in a place or getting help or something, but here's the thing. They're very, they got this independence feel about them, but yeah, it's almost like someone has to take care of them. Um, but they may be very out there where I feel like, our empress is very private with privacy, likes privacy, you know, um, doesn't like to put the truth out there for introspection for everyone to see. And I feel like this person's all about just putting it all out there. And what that does is that causes opposition between the parties and disappointment and stress. Wow. This is a heavy reading. That's what I've got for you. I, you know, I, this ain't going to be for everyone, but, um, yeah. Leo will be next. I'll bring you back. Okay, Leo, your turn. Let's take your romance angel card. Split the deck. You've got, you deserve love. You are lovable. And yes, you are. Don't allow anyone to tell you any different. Or make you feel any different. You've got heart with key. Welcoming love. Meet the one. Open your heart. Getting together. Perfect. So you may be meeting up with someone and, you know, you're lovable. And you're, you're, it's time to open your heart up to love. It's a, a time to um, allow someone to uh, have a chance to enter in. This one. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Let's take you one of these. You got seven of action. You're being called upon to claim your personal power. Feel confident as your angels will give you the strength to say no when it's the right thing to do for yourself. Your struggle may actually stem from an unresolved inner conflict rather than a conflict with others. Just a moment. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Let's get you one of these. You got watermelon tourmaline. Stress reduction. De-stress your mind, body, and schedule as you need to rest. Recharge and revive. Time to get some rest. Okay, Leo, what is it you need to know? Oh, 
Okay, that's the perfect pair. Okay, why do we have that card there? That five of... Why is the five of pentacles here? Ah, okay. Okay, this makes sense. It's time for you to let go of that um, past feeling of... Um, being left behind, not allowing someone in. This is the perfect pair. Um, they're either with you now or they're coming into your life. Um, oh yeah, this could be a soulmate. Okay, now for some of you, children are involved. Okay, show me if children are involved. Oh, they keep throwing them in the floor. Okay, let me see if I can get a hold of it. Okay, if children are involved, oh, it kind of makes you feel, or makes the other person, you want to put yourself where you belong, feel left out in the cold. Uh, I feel like we're talking, for some of you, we're talking about grown children. Um, and someone may be allowing the grown children to uh, rule how they treat their person. That's exactly what's happening here. Is someone is allowing um, older children to kind of make the decisions. And it's affecting this relationship. Just a moment. Sorry about that. Um... It feels like that's what we've got going on right here. Now, tell us um, more about the problems in the home. See, there's love. A lot of love. There's a lot of love. A whole lot of love. But there's some relationship that's coming above this one. Is that um, with a child? Yeah. Okay. Money may be going out, and um, it's like it's there's a rift between a couple because of a relationship with a child. Um, Okay, it feels like a, a child or someone, this doesn't have to be a child, it could be someone that um, this one of these people cares a lot about and kind of takes care of or does for. This person's foolish with money. It's affecting a relationship. It's like um, this younger person just, it's almost like they just frivolously give out money. causing a lot of pain. It's causing a lot of um, um, mind problems. People, you know, feeling all in their head. Putting a rift in this new um, relationship. See? It's, it's almost like someone gives, 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 and someone goes out and has fun. And it's what it's doing is causing illusion. It's causing someone not to know what's going on it's someone's tired of it they're tired of it with the world card something's got to give so whoever is um got the relationship with this person's going to have to take a stand to straighten things out there's something that needs to be straightened out tell me because this other person over here, they don't feel like they're loved enough. They don't feel like um, they're cared enough about because it's like they're carrying all the burden. That's the way they feel. It's almost like they they give all of their whatever they earn and towards everything. And this other person puts it out towards, you know, for this person to have fun and... Wherever. Wow. Advice for Leo. Fear. Fear is an illusion. Okay, the moon card. Um, at a crossroads about a decision. You need to ask the angels to help guide you. 
And I feel like if you're looking for for, for uh, perfection with perfectionism, uh, you're going to be disappointed. Uh, because no relationship's going to be perfect. Um, there's passion here. So, you know, you really got to decide, do you love this enough to work it out? And there is fulfillment. You need to follow your intuition on this and do what really feels right because it feels like you're in a moment of indecision. And the thing is, is okay, it feels like you got feelings for this person. It feels like you even care about this person, but you need to be honest with uh, the other person. And uh, see, we got tradition. And it's like you're a realist. So it's causing you stress. You need to, to have courage and trust that everything's going to be all right. And you need to talk to your person. That's what I've got. Talk to your person. Uh, don't just allow it to keep happening. Talk to your person and figure it out. Uh, because there is love here. There's, there's love. There's fulfilling times. Uh, and you deserve love. You deserve to feel it. So that's what I've got. Um, next will be Sagittarius. I'll bring you back in a moment. Okay, Sagittarius, let's get your Romance Angel card. We got True Love. This is the Romance of a Lifetime. Let's get you one of these. You got Love, Unconditional Love, Self Love, Oneness, Passion. Affection and attraction. Wow, you got two of the love cards. Oh, wow. That is really neat. Oh, mercy. Say, this is something uh, very special, it feels like. That's either in your life or coming into your life. It is important right now to, to take a step back. And spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. You got topaz. Forgiveness heals. Time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness. So it's time to let go of anger that's pinned up inside of you. Messenger of Action. Something new and exciting relating to creativity or your career comes to your attention. You feel an eagerness to learn, and you're ready to get going. Although you may feel insecure, do it anyway. This card represents someone in your life, or maybe you, who is creative, enthusiastic, and fascinated by life, and who wants to try everything. Okay, Sagittarius, what you got going on here? Well, it looks like we got some love or coming in. One. Okay, we've had an ending. Something's ended. Um, for some of you, this is profound change. For others of you, this is simply uh, an ending of letting go of what does not serve you. It could be relationships. Um endings and such. Now for some of you this could actually be an ending um, of something. Something important. And you know that could be so many different things. It could very well be relationships though. After an ending something changes. Someone comes back around. Something comes back around. After an ending, something comes around.
I have to write that down. That's that's something important. It almost it feels more like someone comes back around. It's almost like they come back from the dead. It's that type of feeling. Um, and the re reason I say that, I don't mean literally like coming back from the dead, but it's almost like this person may have been, it's almost like dead to you. Um, they may have done something in the past that hurt you so bad that to you, they you just put them in a category that, you know, they meant nothing. And it's like they're coming back around and things are different, you know. It's like they, they want this reconciliation with you. They want to come back into your life for a different reason. They want to have growth. They want to um, really make something um, make something new happen. It's not starting from what was. This is starting from something new. Um, it's almost like taking something old and putting aside the past that went along with it to begin something new. You know, they, they've been making this decision. It's very hard for them, it feels like. They're following their intuition, and it's something you're going to have to do about this. Um, you know, this person, I feel like they're, they're very balanced in what they're doing, and they feel like they're following their path, as well as I feel like you're on your path. Um, and it's like, um, oh, good grief. Oh, mercy. Hit the floor. They keep falling on me. Let me see. Yeah. See, there's there's been a lot of thinking going on. A lot of thinking. Thinking, thinking, thinking. I seen the tower card. Um, that was the card that was on the top that um, it showed whenever that one dropped. Um, someone um, at some point in time, I feel like you think about this. Um, they were not in a good place. They were not very family oriented. They did not do, you know, what they should have. They were in the King of Wands reversed. Um, didn't go forward good. Did not uh, follow that path. They they were. It's almost like night and day from now. See, it ended. Um, your heart was broken. You know, your heart was broken. There was so much illusion around this. Oh my goodness, it was just so much. Um, I feel like for some of you, there was children involved. And, um, you know, there was pain around that. But for some of you, this is a soulmate connection. And it ended. You know, this, this union ended. It hurt this family. You know, uh, it could have been a divorce. Um, but this, it's almost like it's coming back around. It's like change. It's like starting fresh, a new start, um, starting over. See, there was a lot of opposition. And now it's like, um, I don't know, something happened. And now there's joy and love. It's like, um... Something happened. Something made people see how how much love really means. It's that type of feeling. Like um, something motivated someone with motivator. Motivated them to have change in their life. In a sense, there is a victory here, but in a sense, there's also, um, it's a sadness, I feel. Um, but at the same time, there's a sense of um, victory. It's almost like someone, um, someone has pushed something together, but, oh, I don't even know how to put it. Um. See, it's almost like being challenged, you know. It's like someone, someone always knew that two people belong together, but there was so much fear because there's the moon card. Yet there was so much passion, you know. 
Um, um, oh my goodness. This um, has got to feel, this is like it's divine. It's like the angels or it's, it's got that feel to it. It's like putting two people together. It's, it's like it's meant. It's like they've been brought back together. And I've got spirit tingles. So that's what I've got. Um, yeah. Next will be um, Taurus. I'll bring you back. Okay, Taurus. Let's get you a um, Romance Angel card. You've got flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So you're being told to flirt. Have fun. You know, put yourself out there. Okay, you got coffin. Endings bring new beginnings. Growth, change, liberation, and transition. So, something is ending, but with every ending, there is a new beginning. Um, it feels like there's some form of profound change that comes along with this. And once you get through the transitioning period, you know, there's going to be a moment of liberation. But it feels like that, you know... The, the sense of just the ending is going to kind of take the forefront at the moment. That's what it feels like. Whatever's ending. Got that one. It says, and somebody else got this one. Beware of what you are projecting. For the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess, equally so. The qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So now, you know, this with this coffin card and with that card coming out, it may not be that, you know, actually an ending of a relationship or situation or such. It could be the ending of the way of looking at something or the ending of the way of dealing with something or doing something or a pattern or such. Okay. We got opal. It's beautiful. And it says, let your sparkle and let yourself sparkle and shine. You are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world let everyone see you coming shine your light for all to see encourage others then you got 10 of action Ooh, sounds like it's time to get busy your work okay it's time to take a break because you're working too hard you're working too hard the angels are asking you to find a healthy balance between your career and your personal life seems like somebody else got this one too as well um be willing to ask for help from others in order to lighten your load so that you can take better care of yourself straining to make others happy can be harmful to your health okay Taurus. Oh, well. Wow. Okay. It's all about balance. So there's something in your life that you need to balance. Um, this is something that makes you feel stuck. And this could have to do with work. Um, but you're really not stuck. If you see, she can get loose at any point in time. She's not really bound. Um, there is a victory to be had. Once you deal with whatever this is and bring balance to it, tell us more. Um, okay, there's illusion around what is going on. What's this about? What is...
what you are what you seek okay there's something that needs healing and i feel like it's you um this is like reaching out and seeking something you need to follow your intuition but you have healing that needs to be done um i feel like there's an illusion around something and there's a balance that needs to be had as well this has got to do with um it feels like Oh, well, for some of you, about uh, possibly a marriage or possibly getting married. Um, for others of you, this is a feeling like really praying for answers uh, and and trying to get. It's a, it's a feel, um, there's a feeling of um, closure yet inner knowing, um, being able to to really get around what what is causing you to be so out of balance besides working too hard what else is it well that's the main thing is working too hard working to make everyone happy there is someone um a queen of pentacles here okay see this is working for someone working for family um it's like working really hard um, and going towards your home, going towards your family, and, and handing over the money. So someone may be doing it all themselves for someone. It's like uh, too much work for one person. You may need to ask for help. Yeah, there's no, there's no balance. Um, I feel like you're, you're taking down your guard somewhat about... You know, I, it may have to do with work. Um, being able to speak what you feel. That's very important and you need to do it. Um, there is some, some form of negative behavior here. I also feel like there's some form of um, lust. It's illusions. There's illusions around lust. See, here's the same... I feel like that um, for some of you, this is a totally different person. And it's like this person wants to come towards you. They want to speak something to you. There was some form of drama in the past. And this is something that they, it's like they, they want to bring you towards them. Or they want, they feel like you're the, you're the one. Now that's for some of you. That's not for all of you. Um, for some of you, I feel like that this person, you know, it's like you give and you give and you give and it's just not enough. It's like um, it, it, things are out of balance and you just need to ask for help. You know, there's an illusion around um, it feels like um, allowing yourself to be just treated any, any old way. You have a lot of emotion and a lot of love to give. And I feel like that um, with the, the King of Cups coming out, you know, I feel like that um, there's some fear around really giving all of yourself to this relationship. Um, I feel like you give a lot, but there's some opening up that needs to be done in the way of feelings. Yeah. Okay, there's been some karma, karmic lessons um, dealing with, and it's still going on, it feels like. There's a truth to be seen. Uh, so the truth coming out about something. Um, this may ha be around something to do with children, and um, it's like someone may have taken something. There's something around children. Someone's children. What's this about someone's children? Okay. And this is somebody else. And this is too. Um, this has got something to do with children. It's almost like... Um, it's a feeling like there's a son, for some there's a daughter and a son, but there's a feeling like um, something's not even. 
And then we have someone else over here that feels left out in the cold. They're taking on the, the Queen of Swords energy. Um, and it, it's as if, you know, they feel like they... That, honestly, it feels like they, they feel like they were used. You know, it left them feeling like they gave what they could and they were used. Dying. I don't know who... You've got so many people surrounding you. And it's going to put you all in your head if you don't watch it. It's like you need to bring a balance to it. Seriously. Um, this feels like silence. Oh my goodness, where'd it go? The cards just keep flying tonight. This is like a super long reading. Probably the last time I did reading like this i think it took like three hours just to fix the uh movie to put it up okay queen king of swords okay you need to change the way that you think about looking at the truth and maybe look at it in a different light i feel like you've got your guard up and you work too much um things are about to change for you and that's not a bad thing, you know. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you, if you're of childbearing age, or if you're, um, yeah, you could be going to um, get some news about a baby. Or um, someone that is involved in this is going to um, get some news about a baby. And it, it may be shocking. I mean, it may be something that, you know... Um, two people may not be on, quite on the same page about. I'm just going to be honest. Even though there's joy about it, it's a sense of um, someone feels like there's more work or more um, loss of time or something of that nature because I'm seeing a clock. Um, and it's like someone's not balancing their time out to uh, give to everyone or such. That's what I've got for you. Very confusing in a way. You're surrounded by lots of people. Um, either surrounded by them or surrounded in thought by them. <laughs> I'm not sure where that's coming from. But yeah. Um, so let's see. Virgo will be next. Be right back. Okay Virgo. This is for you. Let's take your romance angel first off. You got to stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So you're being told not to give up, not to get in that place of negative thought. Um, have faith in what you want and stay positive about it. You got heartbroken. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. So if you've had this, um, this period of heartbreak somewhere in your life, it, it's a feeling like that, you know, you need to, to get through those feelings and you need to heal from it. Um, you know, feel it. Um, let the emotion be there. Uh, but don't stay in it. You know, you need to release. Uh, but being heartbroken, that can be a hard thing. If you could do anything that... Okay, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. So, you know, if you're heartbroken, you may need to do some healing. And you need to ask yourself that question. But answer it from your heart, not your mind. We got yellow jasper. Control issues. Utilize your God-given strength and power. Instead of fearing that others may try to control you. 
You know, instead of fearing that, know that you have the strength and the power um, to do what you need to do for yourself. That's what it feels like. Maybe someone has to help and, you know, instead of looking at it from an aspect of they're trying to control you, look at it from an aspect that they're trying to help you. If that is the case. Positive recognition is the number 19 card. Um, and for some reason that's the first time tonight doing all these readings that I've actually felt to look at the number. So the 19th may mean something to someone, maybe something special, or something may be going to come about on that day, or um, something about the 19th. Congratulations, your plans have worked out perfectly. And now it's your time to shine. Brilliant new ideas will present themselves to you. And success is all but assured. Express yourself openly and honestly, knowing that those surrounding you are trustworthy. Be open to unexpected opportunities. So, opportunities right around the corner, it feels like. That's awesome. Okay. Okay, they want me to just cut, basically. So, we're going to go with it. Okay, Virgo. Okay. Whatever you're going through right now may make you feel like you're trapped, but you can get free. It's, it's a mindset. It's the way that you're looking at something. Okay. There may be something negative within the mind that you need to see the truth about. You need to cut through what is going on and see it for the truth that it is. Because you've got something that's ending and something that's beginning. Uh, it's time to end an old chapter, an old way of looking at things, an old way of dealing with things, an old way of um, dealing with a heartbreak, an old way of um, feeling like people, um, you know, see you one way when you may not actually be seen, being seen that way and you just feel that way. Um, this is a lot, I feel like, about really dealing with what's within, um, the negative aspects um, that you're allowing to have control over parts of your th thought patterns and such. That's what it feels like. Heartbreak. So... You know, seeing the truth around things and really dealing with the heartbreak and uh, trying to go forward and, and really cut through to the truth of the matter. And I feel like it's it, it, the real thing is finding yourself, finding the love for yourself, giving yourself this beautiful, new, loving beginning from yourself. That, it feels like, is when, you know, once you see the truth, once you feel that love within yourself and heal that heartbreak, it feels like that's when you can actually have what you're wanting, what you're desiring. That's why, you know, stay optimistic about your love life is here. So this is, this is about healing you. You know, this is a time of healing what needs to be healing. Dealing, it's, it's about healing and dealing. That's exactly what this feels like. Healing and dealing. Uh, so, you know, dealing with and healing of. You know, there. It, it's also a, a time of um, seeing. And um, it feels like truth. You know, truth is a big deal right now, it feels like. Um, there's heartbreak, and, you know, that needs to be dealt with. Um, it doesn't need to be swept under the rug because there's a, a heartbreak needs to be healed uh, so that you can move forward. Uh, but, you know, you got positive recognition coming from, from somewhere. And like I said, there's something to do with that 19 for some of you.
so that's what I've got for you. Um, that's what I'm feeling. And um, we'll come back for, for uh, Capricorn in just a moment. Okay, Capricorn. We're going to take you a Romance Angel to begin with. For the sign of Capricorn. You got, you deserve love. You are lovable. And yes, you are. So if you're not, if you're not getting love, you deserve it. And you need to see that. You need to see that you're worthy. Um, of having that feeling of love. You got sunglasses. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting. Perception focusing out. So someone is um, looking out. Someone is watching someone. Uh, someone may be gaslighting someone, uh, keeping them hanging on um, with no no um, thought about actually going forward with them. Um, and then for some of you, you may be being stalked. If being stopped, show me. Okay. Someone on your path or on your road may be watching you. I'm drawn to the path. They may be watching you. Um, this could be taking place at sunrise. Or sometime early in the day, it feels like. Hmm. I'm going to take them. I haven't had them throwing them out like that. Uh, you actually had two that come out. I was going to pick it, but... You've got freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear. If you want it to be. So... It's all up to you what you want. It's up to you what you want in your life. And then you've got secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So, you've got a secret admirer. Someone who um, has got some deep feelings for you. They're in love with you. Citrine. Unnecessary worries. Release the burden of worries by giving them to God for healing and solutions. Give your worries to God and you'll get the solutions and the healing. You've got four of abundance. It's time to reflect upon your relationship with money. Are you spending it too freely? Or are you holding on to it too tightly? So are you being frivolous or are you being materialistic? That's something to look at. This can also relate to how you give of yourself to others. Is, is your heart open or are you holding back? Your hard work and wise investments will bring you great success. So you're about to get some success come to you for investments. Okay. Capricorn. You've been dealing with some drama. Okay. Why drama? Hmm. You're dealing with someone who is um, very money hungry. The King of Pentacles reversed, money hungry. Money just, yeah. Uh, this is someone who um, is like the boss type. It's almost like there's so much drama around that you, t you, if this is you, you take off to find your happiness. It's like going off to be happy. Tell us. Yeah. 
Okay, Three of Cups reversed. That is lack of happiness, lack of good times, lack of fulfillment. But that can also be uh, something not coming back around. The Star card is a card of healing, a card of wishes coming true, wishes being granted. Um, someone is about to walk towards something or someone. So, it's like someone is coming towards you. This is someone that um, they've got their guard up a bit because they don't know what to expect. This is someone that um, they want a two of cups relationship with you. They want um, to be with you. They want that union. This is someone that um, they're wanting to communicate with you. They have been left out in the cold a lot, it feels like, in the past. They've had a lot of endings um, surrounding uh, relationships and lovers and, and um, such. This could be a new lover. Um, this could be a soulmate connection. worlds here. It's time for something to change. It's time to decide. Um, it's like there's a decision needs to be made. Okay. I feel like this is uh, this person down here and they're very intuitive but I also feel like you need to use your intu intuition about this situation. Okay, tell me about this King of Pentacles reversed. Okay. See, you're coming in as the King of Cups. That's why it was showing up on the bottom here a while ago. And um, I didn't pull it. Um, you're coming in as the King of Cups. And the thing is, is don't look at it as being two males. It's just energies. Um, it's like wanting to communicate and wanting to go towards something. Now, what are you wanting to go communicate and go towards? Tell me about the King of Pentacles reversed. This is someone that um, is very boisterous. Uh, someone that's not doesn't feel very lucky. Someone that um, it's, it's almost like it's even worse than feeling like they're left out in the cold. They're someone that complains. Someone that um, complains a lot. Um, so this is like you're dealing with several people here. It's like you've got someone here and then you've got someone here. So you may have a choice between two. You keep having the lovers pop up. Um, but there's hurt and there's pain. There's been hurt and pain. Um, it's what you do with that. You deserve love and... Um, you've dealt with a lot of drama... As you can see, it's, this is almost like um, you have tried to give your love and you just get drama. That's sad. That's what I've got for you. You've got several around you and, you know, the thing is to remember that you deserve love. You, you are lovable. And um, follow your heart. You know, where, where, where is your heart leading you? That, that's, that's the true thing, is where is your heart leading you? And that's what I've got for you. Um, so next up will be um, Cancer, and we'll come back for that. Okay, Cancer, we're back. It's your turn. Um, we'll take your Romance Angel. I want to get you one of these. One of these. One of these. And one of these. Okay. Now, let's start with the Romance Angel. you got Express Your Love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. 
so you are being told to go ahead and, and make that romantic gesture. Reach out. Express what you're feeling. Tell someone what you feel. Show them. Openly express your feelings. Love call. Wow. Okay, someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you, letting you know. So, you know, this is about expressing your love, or someone is going to express their love to you. Oh, wow. So, if this is not you, get ready, because it's like you're about to get a love call, you know. Um, wow, that's, that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then we have this beauty. Surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So let go of what is holding you back. Let go of the old to allow the new to come in. You know, and it feels like that someone may be going to express their love to you uh, once you let go of whatever is, uh, you know, that needs to go from your life. We have Kyanite. Make time for self-care. Taking care of yourself is essential right now. So it's very important to take care of yourself. Then we have two of abundance. You know, this is feeling about balance. Don't you see how she's balancing? Perfectly through the wind, over the water, and just holding it together. Life may be feeling a little out of balance right now. You could be working multiple jobs or trying to make a change to your dream career. It's important to keep things light and stay in touch with your inner child. Make your work as playful as possible. Multitasking with a positive attitude brings success. So let's see what we get for you. First off, um, I want to know about this love call up here. Okay. Okay. Someone guarding themselves. Um, there's a lot of passion here. Um, whoever this is, it's either you or it's someone that's wanting to get in touch with you. They're wanting to tell you something. They guard their heart. Uh, there's a lot of passion here, a major passion. I mean, complete passion. Uh, there's a feeling of connection. Well, they tried to flip those. Okay, any more about this love call? Any more about these people? Okay, someone um, feels alone. This person feels alone. Okay, and the, our other person is taking on the King of Wands energy. So, I feel like this is possibly you. Uh, well, no, for some of you, this is you. Um... It's going to be different for different people. The thing is, is this could lead to something um, beautiful. But it's it's up to the two people. Because it feels like this is something um, unexpected. Our message. This is like someone coming in that, um, or coming about that. May be a surprise. This may be something coming back around. Something that's going to have you really looking. Really thinking. Really trying to figure out, you know, what's best for you. Yeah, I see coming back around. Um, this could be a um, someone from your past. And they're coming back around. And it's like trying to find an even balance. And, you know, so they want to give you something. They want to offer you something. Um, you know... It is coming back around. It's like round and round. It's coming back around. For some of you, this is the past. 
but for some of you it's not. For some of you this is someone new and you may meet them out and about when you are out in public and um, there's going to be, um, it's like an equal interest in one another. Um, yeah. So this could be past or new person. Any more? Um, some of you could meet this person while you're walking, because I'm drawn to the walking. Uh, could be hiking, could be at work for some of you. Um, yeah, could very well be at work. Um, yeah, see here, could meet this person at work. This could be someone that you work with, and it's like you're working towards having your new beginning, and then, you know, you meet this person. They have like-minded values. They, they want to work for their dream, and it's like you two just click, hit it off. Perfect balance and beautiful. Yeah. Wow. So, this is, this is awesome. Um, but I feel like that, you know, someone's going to have to put something... It's like they got to let go of something. And that could be a situation. That could be another person um, that they're clinging to. Uh, so, yeah. That's what I've got for you. And uh, we'll have Pisces next coming up. Okay, Pisces. Let's get you a, a romance angel first off. And then we want to take you one of these. One of these. No. Okay. Okay. Let's start with the romance angel first. You got forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So, forgiving and learning is very important. And then we have healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. That's, that's, that's awesome because it's healing what, what feels broken. Um... Yeah. Then we have this one. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. We have Amatrine. And it says, balancing masculine and feminine energies. Allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you. And your masculine side to give you confidence. And then we have three of abundance. Your passions will lead, you, lead to your divine life purpose. Do what you love. And have confidence in your talent. Learn everything there is to know about your interests by taking classes, getting a mentor, or teaming up with like-minded people. Allow your creativity, creativity to soar. Wow. Okay, four Pisces. Well, they just threw out one. Okay, someone feels left behind. Someone feels abandoned feels alone, um, they're tied to something toxic. Okay, we need healing. There's the star card reversed, no healing. Many paths, many paths before this person. Uh, a lack of love. Okay. 
someone's going to reach out to you, it feels like, and they're going to be very down and disheartened. Um, this person's dealing with some negative, negative behaviors or patterns or addictions. Um, there, there's healing needed, but they're out of balance. There's it is lack of love, a lack of love for self. This person, um, it's like they they're full of so much. They're deal. They have so much in them, and they're going to communicate to you. What about? Okay, this is someone that um, it's like. They're going to be speaking to you about home and about life. And um, there's a lot of karma here. There's a lot of lessons to be learned. Um, you know, this person's going to come to towards you quickly in words, it feels like. Um, this is something that it feels like they're having trouble coping with something. So they may want your help. This may be someone that um, has had um, a hard time with you for some reason. There's a broken heart here. Um, someone that you've dealt with in the past. For some reason, I'm seeing um, a line, and that makes me think of Leo. Um, so I don't know if that's a sign. If I don't know if you could be dealing with a Leo, could be dealing with Capricorn too. Um, but this person, they're deciding how to reach out, how to speak, how to talk. You could also be dealing with the Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries. Um, the Empress is here. And then we have the King of Swords. Now this could be a boss. It also could be a, a family member. But it's like something, something, a change, uh, an ending of a cycle uh, for this person. And then there's someone else involved with them. Um, bringing balance. Uh, there's something to do with a relationship here. Uh, this person, whoever this is, feels stuck. See? Something to do with a relationship. So I don't know if that's to do with you or someone else, but it's heavy. It's got a heavy feel to it. Okay, if I can get a hold of that card. Um, this person is, it's almost like they're, yeah, hard up, something about money, something about financial issues is a, a big factor for this person. Yeah, I want you to look at how that card flipped because it's money issues. This person's having money issues. anymore so um, someone may reach out for help or this could be you but whoever is you know reaching out to someone and this person or these people here there's issues there's some sort of issues here um, and it's surrounding money and it's like something changing something ending uh, with that world card. So that's what I've got for you. Uh, it's almost like um, there's a lot of toxic here. There's a lot of um, healing that needs to take place. And um, communication coming that you may not want to hear. That's negative, it feels like. So we'll come back for Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio, it's your turn. Okay. We're going to take your romance angel. Okay, we had this one for one of the other signs. I'm not sure which one. It's healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Or maybe it was forgiving and learning. I think it was forgiving and learning that we had for another sign. Um, so, you know, there's something that uh, you may need to look back. Um, and it could be something in the way you were taught that you feel like has been holding you back. Let's take a 
take you one of these. Let's go ahead and get you one of these. I'm actually drawn to two of these, so I'm going to take it. I was drawn to that top one. The pink just stood out to me. And actually, I'm drawn to a deck over here, so I'm going to take one. Um, this is actually the Spirit Animal deck, and I am drawn to it, so um, it's calling to me. So, yeah, I'm going to take one. Okay. Now, let's get to it. Okay, our next card, after healing family issues. That's very important. You need to look back at that. You got the sunglasses card. I had someone else get this, but I'm not sure who. Uh, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. So it feels like the, the, there's someone that's watching or stalking, looking. Um, stalking. Stalking. Okay, this is someone that, um, this is someone from your past. This was a past relationship of some sort. Doesn't have to have been romantic. But in any case, this person feels like you, you, um, abandoned them. You, uh, they feel like you were a player. I'm just going to be honest. That's what I'm getting. Um, so yeah, um, this person is watching you. It doesn't mean that they're, you know, watching you in a bad way, a bad light, um, but they are watching you. They could be watching you at work, and they could be watching you at home as well. Um, this person, um, this is someone that they pride themselves as being a boss type. Someone who um, may actually be a leader of some sort, or they have been, or maybe they were military, or maybe they uh, work in law enforcement, or they work um, as a boss. This is someone that um, they got their defenses up. And they may be watching you, it feels like, at home or at work. Maybe both, possibly. Um, and then we have uh, Angel Light. And um, it says, spiritual or religious community, join with like-minded people for friendship and increased spiritual growth. So you need to seek out like-minded people. This up here does not have a horrible, horrible feeling. Um, it's almost a feeling like, you know, someone may have got their feathers ruffled or such. And, you know, they may be wanting to speak about it. It doesn't have a terrible feeling to it, so I'm not too too um, worried about it or anything like that. Or I would be pulling more cards. Okay. We have got two cards here. And that person could actually have interest in you in other ways. Uh, yeah. We've got Sacred Union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. So, now, if you have a relationship or if you don't, I mean, if you don't, you could be having a sacred union that's coming about, that's coming toward you. You got romance. See what I'm saying? Cupid's arrow strikes. So, uh, Cupid may be going to shoot somebody in the rear end and then they come your way. Or maybe Cupid's going to shoot you in the rear end. And, yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. You've got um, number six, and you've got beaver spirit. Lay a solid foundation. So, you know, when this comes about, make sure that you have a solid foundation with this person. That's very important. It feels like in the past you may have not had solid foundations with people. That may be what's wrong over here. This could have been something where the foundation was not solid, so you know, or such. Then you have Ace of Abundance. Oh my goodness, look at that. This cherub brings wonderful news. A windfall of resources comes your way to help you with your plans. 
These resources may involve money, advice, or assistance in getting things done. It's a good time to start a new venture, change careers, or go into business for yourself. There may be important contracts to sign. Now, do read before you sign. That's very important because I'm actually seeing what looks like paperwork and um, I actually see a, a pair of glasses. So, you need to read that. All the fine, fine information needs to be read. Read, you know, read before signing the dotted line. Uh, that's very important. Okay. Scorpio. Okay. Um, it feels like you're you've been on your own path and you've been doing some healing. You've been keeping to yourself, low key, uh, not putting yourself out there really. And um, it's like, bam, that's when it comes about. That's when they come. You've been carrying your own load. Look, see? See? There's that card. Um, right here. Okay. It's about healing. Healing where you felt left behind, left out, left alone. Um you know, and, and it may too have to do with healing with this person here. I'll just be honest with you. Um, family. This could be about family. Healing something within a family. A relationship. Moving forward. So, working hard. It feels like you, you're about to have something really happen. Uh, don't be too concentrating on the past if you're wanting something new to come in. Make the decision, make the choice to let go of what is back behind you. That's what it feels like. Don't get in your head. It feels like things are about to change for you. Uh, this could be soulmate. Perfectionist. Joy. Hope. Yes, the star card. Keep hope in your wishes. You know, um, and and don't even, you don't even have, I mean, it's honestly, know that it's going to happen. Know it. I feel like you, you're being very, you're sitting still, you're being within yourself, you're very independent, and as long as you're being patient, it's like things are, I'm telling you, it's, it's almost like you've done the work, you're doing you, you're not worrying about anything. And then along comes the romantic person. Wow. And it's like things just happen. Cupid done shot somebody in the rear. See, you're at a crossroads. And then you decide to trust the fool. You decide to trust. You decide to uh, open up. And passion hits you. Things begin to change. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is beautiful. It is because it's it's a beautiful, beautiful opportunity. And it's like, you know, you got Cupid then shot somebody in the rear. Um, Cupid's throwing arrows. That's what it feels like. And um, hitting targets. So this has got a beautiful, beautiful feel to it. And um, it feels like it could go far. Uh, it could be with this person over here, or this could be family, and this, you know, is about healing it, um, because we have some of those cards that came out. So, yeah, this is, to me, this is a positive read. It looks really good, and um, get ready. If you've been waiting for something to come together, get ready. So this is what I have for everyone in this long reading that, yeah, it probably has it's taken me a good while. The last one I did, um, including having to go in and put the um, 
different languages and and doing all that i had like three hours <laughs> into that one reading so i'm assuming this one's gonna be about the same because yeah uh, just let me know how you like these readings. Um, I'm, I'm thinking this might be a good weekly reading. Um, or maybe, you know, once a week or once every two weeks, just according. And, um, yeah. So, thumbs up. Please do a subscribe. And if you, if you really like the readings, share them. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Much light and love. Till next time. Bye.